Hi everyone, this is Seizure here. So this is the Toyota FT1 concept. And according to Toyota's press release, the FT1 concept is a pure performance, track-focused sports car created by Kauti Design Research, which is Toyota's North American design branch, and is essentially a studio that comprises of about 65 members. So basically we are looking at a Japanese car designed in America. So just in case you are wondering, the FT in FT1 stands for Future Toyota. So the overall design of the FT1 is heavily influenced by the company's long sports car traditions such as the 2000 GT and Supra, both which we have recently drove in VR, and also the Celica and FT86. Buying one in GT Sport will cost you about half a million credits. And this is a front-mounted engine, rear-wheel drive car that produces around 486 brake horsepower and 425 pound-full of torque. So being a rear-wheel drive vehicle, futuristic sports car concept, the front of the car showcases slick engine underneath a clear fiberglass. And further front, the radiator's air is divided between twin shark-like mouth and each side has an electric fan to cool the engine. So all lights that is um, used on the FT1 are all LED lights and the canted roof line, according to the chief designer election, creates a visual stress without unbalancing the overall car shape. So later on we will touch on the interior. But basically for the interior, everything you will be seeing is designed strictly for the driver's uh, use. So during the design process, the studio staff even visited the Marine Corps Air Station in Mirama, north of San Diego, where they studied the heads-up display in fighter jet simulators. And that is where you can obviously see how that influenced the driver's cockpit. So let's take a look at the interior right now. Okay, so this is the interior of the FT-1. Just let the other FT-1 go past first. Then while it's gone, let's take a look at the interior. So as you can see, obviously a very futuristic looking cockpit. And uh, I just want to go through review a few details which I find it really interesting. So first thing first, the cockpit that we're sitting in right now is what the design team calls the slingshot whereby you are in command of uh, full and full control of the uh, being the driver of the car so it's a very uh, so called a selfish uh, car whereby the focus is really on the uh, experience of the driver and driver only so every knob every button every display that you see is really surrounding the driver and there's pretty much nothing that you know can be easily accessed by the uh, passenger here so well, let's look at the center console right now. So we have the uh, what Toyota calls the HSR meter, that is the holographic image of the uh, rev meter. And of course, uh, the center display you see is the map of the circuit. So this display will actually change the map um, depending on where you are in terms of the circuit uh, in GT Sport. So not sure whether that function works in real life. Uh, and whether it can be toggle to other screens but uh, let's find out probably later and taking a look closer look at this steering wheel so we have the huge and rather tempting engine start button here and then we have some buttons as well to change the mode right and there's a lot of um, carbon fiber bits here and there and well this uh, his meter is to allow the driver to really focus on the route and yet being provided the speed information or the rev information um, directly to the driver without having the driver to really glance down to the you know the standard uh, gauge that you see in conventional uh, sports car so you can just glance at the loop the road and then come back to the point of view into the uh, HOM and then you should be able to you know focus more on where you're driving all right so <coughs> dividing the passenger and the driver will be this center pillar here and then you have more buttons which is to access the windows and also the lock yeah that's the window lock button as well there's a lever on the passenger seat, not sure what's that for, but you can see the bucket seat. Right. 
and the fabric yeah, just also you know observe the very uh, detailed stitching that we have right here and then at the back you can sit probably two more right so the engine is turned on and running um, what I really love about the design of this car is actually the it's actually the um, alright it's actually the right and uh, what, I, what I really like about this car is really the uh, this very slick design of the rear uh, rear view mirror right at the side so it's really slick you know it's, it, the way it's being sculpted and fits it really fits the whole car uh, of course my only gripe is um, it's probably a bit small but that should do the work you know, in this car you're expecting to see if I focus on the road and not who, who's behind you anyway so yep very futuristic looking vehicle tons of uh, leg room as well so oh yes um, carbon fiber trimmings can be found on the steering wheel so if you notice the top part of the wheel you can actually see the um, the gear indicators so this gear indicator the screen on the steering wheel uh, differs that of of what you see in the his arm meter so you have to glance a bit downwards to look at which gear you are in and of course the top part will be where the ref is so let's Take a listen to how the engine revs. Right. Right, so when the when the engine turns, um, you know, rev to the red zone, you can also you can also easily see just beside the on the on the steering wheel screen, um, the indicator as well. So it goes from orange to red. Okay, so perhaps let's just take this car for a spin just around the number ring and we'll see how this car performs so 486 per horsepower uh, Toyota didn't really give the specification or more details about the car so um, well, let's see how this car drives anyway Okay, so the FT1 at number ring Of the start line, first corner done. Oh, it's really quick. The acceleration is really fast. Have to be a bit careful because it's so quick, and we are on Sports Hub's tire, so. Careful with the accelerator. Well, what I you know, quite like is um, just after a few corners in, you can sort of appreciate the need to have this uh, his arm meter and also this uh, ref meter that is on top of the steering wheel. So it all comes together very nicely, as in when you're about to red line in terms of a ref, you can see two indicators that um, literally tells you when to shift up. So the obvious one would actually be the uh, indicator that is on the steering wheel, where you will red line like now. And uh, because it's within your field of view, it will just tell you subconsciously that you need to um, upshift. So of course you can still refer back to your uh, HUM, the his arm meter that is right in front of you and you can just like while staring at the road, glance it down a quick one to see which rev you are in and the speed you are, you are 
driving at as well. So for info, the I believe the uh, speed that is showing on the HUM is in miles per hour and not kilometers per hour. So maybe you can also see later what is the top speed that we're going to reach as we approach the uh, towards the end of the ring. Is you have to break slightly early, and it's very easy to you know, make this car go into a drift. There's a need to tweak the brake balance as well because under heavy braking, the moment you lift off the brake, you will go into drift mode in a sense. I think I can also afford to use more downforce, more front and back. So 486 brake horsepower. The rest of the um, specification actually comes from Jordan directly and especially for Grand Turismo Sport. But uh, we do not have the full details of you know what this um, car in terms of full specs have. Feel that the tail comes out very very easily, especially in the high corners. I'll break myself there approaching the carousel well with the headphones on you can really feel how the other carriage is being hit by the gravel So the best way I think is to really brake hard first and then slowly release the accelerator because if you thrill brake too much um, the tail comes out really easily so it's something that you want to take note when you're driving this car slope into the right hander
There's quite a bit of other steel as well. Okay, we are approaching the back straight of the number ring. So carry as much speed as possible out of here. Top gear, six gear. Not sure whether you can hit hundred and seventy. Okay. Approaching hundred and eighty. Yes. Not quite. Yes, hundred and eighty. Whoops, onto the green. Closing the car there, but uh, well, it's only the pursuit of speed. Last corner, and across the finish line. Okay, well, not the cleanest of laps, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the ride as much as I do. So there's the Toyota FT1, and um, well. Hope you guys like the driving and do leave a comments and also like and subscribe the video if you want to. Well, till the next video, just take care and goodbye.